Okay, so this is going to be our last video on sort of the theory behind some statistics, and then we're going to get stuck into the maths. So um, we're going to talk about sampling here today. So whenever you're doing a survey, um, there's always the danger that the results you get are going to be biased. So bias happens when you pick the wrong type of people for the survey. So the running example we're going to use is uh, asking people in Ireland about farming. So obviously if you just ask people in Dublin about farming, you're going to get a re different result than if you ask say one person from every county in the country, just as an example. Um, so you want to eliminate bias, okay? So there's a couple of different ways that uh, statisticians have come up with to eliminate bias, we're gonna go through them. So you need to know each of these different types of sampling. So sampling kind of determines how you choose people for your survey, okay? So first we'll look at simple random sampling, so this first one here. So this is the easiest one. It's where you number every single person in the population then you use a random number generator, which is just a computer that comes up with random numbers uh, to choose people. Or another way of doing this is, or to chose people, I should put another O in there, uh, is pick names out of a hat. So this is the, probably the most random one, um, but it's also sort of difficult. So again, if you pick random people from everywhere in Ireland, you could end up with one person at the very bottom of Cork, one person at the very tip to the left of Galway, one person in Dublin, one person in Donegal, and it can just be expensive if they're really, really spread out. So that's one of those, say, downfalls of it. Um, anyway, we'll move on to the next one. So stratified random sampling. Uh, this is quite a good one. So the population is split up, split up into strata, which is basically just groups uh, with things in common. Then random samples are chosen from each group according to that group's proportion of the population. So that means, so for our example here, if you're interviewing everyone in Ireland, then you interview more people from counties with lots of people. So example, you'd, you would interview lots of people from Galway, Dublin, Cork, and um, the bigger counties, and not too many people from counties with a small population. Um, so that's how stratified random sampling works. Then systematic uh, random sampling is you number everyone in the population again, and then you choose every, for this example, we just said 73rd person. Uh, so it's just an example, you can be any number. Uh, it depends on the size of the population and the sample size that is required, how many, kind of, what number. And then you just choose every 73rd, so the 73rd person, the 146th person, and so on. Okay, next one we're gonna look at is cluster sampling. So in cluster sampling, population is divided into lots of small groups or clusters and then a few of those groups are chosen randomly and everyone in the group is asked. So an example there could be um, you pick any, like a, you cluster all the people into towns in Ireland that are, we'll say, less than 20,000 people and then you pick a few different 20,000 people towns and interview them. Um, one of the last ones then we're gonna look at is quota sampling, this one here. So for quota sampling, um, an interviewer is given a quota of people to find from a certain group. So for example, they have to find 100 people from the group men over 50, and then the interviewer can find those people in any way possible, and then use those people for the surveys. So it's not really that randomized, um, but it is used quite often because it's, it's, it's easy, basically. And the last one then is called convenience sampling. So convenience sampling is basically just where you ask your friends and family, uh, it's really cheap and really easy, but it's very, very biased. So it's you couldn't use it for a scientific study, but it's good for maybe a small class project or else something, if you just want to get a general idea about something before you pursue it further um, to do a proper study. So those are the different types of um, sample surveys. You need to know each one, the kind of characteristics of it, and sort of be able to come up with an advantage or a disadvantage for each of them. Um, yeah, so that's it for sampling. In the next video, we're going to start looking at graphing data. So we're going to actually have some numbers. So we'll see you then. If you like the videos, uh, like and subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks. We'll see you next time.